Welcome back to Monster Rancher 3, everyone. In the last episode, we found Alley Cat's limit. She lost a battle, a tournament, that is. She lost this tournament. So we are not going to raise her class up. She is definitely not ready to go up a class. However, I believe at the beginning of September, she gets to do a venture, and we still have that stone. So hopefully we can... Uh, we can uh, get her a new move. I also need to reevaluate her numbers. Let's see. Let's get speed to 150 before we do anything else, and then we'll go from there. Or maybe even 200 if she gains it quickly. Um, cost of power, but we get power up fairly quick, so I'm not too worried about it. Success, and what do we get? 19! Good god, yeah, we're gonna work on her speed for a while. All right, keep keep going, man. As long as if we can consistently get really large gains, I kind of don't care what stat it's in. To me, that is what demonstrates what a monster is for. That's why with Nico we gained massive numbers in defense, and I realized that means he's built to be a tank. He's built to have a high amount of defense. So now that we are going to be here for a while. I'm going to go ahead and buy some extract, and we are going to try to find uh, try to find everything. But the first thing on our docket is to visit the Lord Monster and hopefully learn a move from the orb that we picked up, or the stone, or whatever the crap it's called. Let's, uh, let's do the thing here. Hello, uh, 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 horse C. Yes. I'm giving the Aurora Stone. Here goes nothing. Oh my god, it does look like a horsey. Or a... Ah, crap. What's the evolved version of a horsey? Sea King? No, that's the fish. Oh my god, what's the evolved... Ah, it's been too long since I played Pokemon. Any but. We've got a new skill. No, no, no. God, no. Alright. Damage 20, damage 12, damage 25. So it does... Better damage than Thunderwind... Less damage than lightning. It's decent attack, but it uses intelligence. And it also uses wind, because wind lore might be the only thing that matters. What range are you? Are you telling me what range you are? You're far range. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, well, that was fun. Let's, uh, let's look for bad feeling spots now. Because we need more moves. Wait. Do we need more moves? We need more moves, but I already have the one for an Aurora bit, so if we find an Aurora bit, then it doesn't really help us. We should move places. Let's see. Wow, I stepped on a Ran Ran leaf. Yay! Okay, that is one thing I think I'm going to look up between episodes. Uh, which area produces which types of... That's a noisy hall, I think. Yes. Um, oh, come on, man. Really? It hasn't been that long since she... Or it has been a while since she woke up, I thought. Oh, well. Uh, I guess this will be pointless then. I should just look for bad feeling spots. Anyway, um... I, uh... I can't remember what I was saying, I'm sorry. I did have some chocolate between episodes, though. So I have a little bit of energy left. Where's the fucking... It says it's right here. Map. Is my map wrong? It says it's right bloody here! Right here! Ah! Right here. Well, if it's not popping up, I guess it's not here, so... Let's see... Bad feeling spot three is on the octopus. Intelligence up, whoop de doo Okay. Well, those are done, so let's look up the other noisy halls, I guess. Uh, did that one. That one's in the bottom right corner near... Uh, yes, right here. Even if it's ineffective, a little is better than nothing. Kind of screwing Alley Cat a little bit since I'm 
worrying too much about, uh... Wait, it didn't give me the warning that would it, it would be ineffective. What the heck? Oh, she must only give the warning once. I see. Okay, number three is over to the left. Come on. Come on, Alley Cat. Work with me here. Up in the very corner here. Problem with that new move, as I said, is it's a green attack, and we've been intentionally avoiding intelligence, so... Oh, okay, there's the warning, she says. Okay, I see. Anyway, I don't think we'll be able to power it up very well, which sucks. But, I mean, what else can we do here, you know? Alright, that's it. So, now all I can do is just look around for other lights of Earth and just grab it, I guess. I found a big scale. I felt less stressed out. It's great, but I want shards and I want, uh, items here. I found 300 gold. And I also can't see shit. Such pretty carnival music. Whoa. Aha! We will search everywhere. We will do all the things. We will get a Stardust. Alright. Hmm. Well, at least I know she's gonna be ready to train as soon as we get back home. This is still maddening. It's supposed to be right here! Right here! Let's see if there's another one around here. Ah! Aha! Found one. Another big scale. Great. That, uh... I'm gonna call that one a failure. Hopefully the new ability we have isn't bad. And nuts it is. I'm just glad I can feed her some of her not least favorite food, you know? Okay. Okay. What are we doing? We're raising speed. Let's get it to 200. Oh, shit. Actually, this works fine. This way I can get, um, power in addition to speed. At the cost of intent. Yeah, that's definitely what we need to do more of. Now the cat looks healthy. Keep it up. What is that? Blowfish? Blowfish. Yeah, that's definitely her her strength here. She's going to be a fast monster. A little tired and a little stressed out. That's okay. Take a rest. It's fine. We don't need to work you to the... Whatever you have instead of bones. I am not doing that. We are we are not trying that, uh, uh, Flaria. Not yet. We super gained on that one. Nicely done. Uh, I'm kind of... I'm sort of pinning her into a corner since I'm destroying intelligence here. Since uh, she won't be able to really use that new move anytime soon. That's okay, though. It's okay. Anyway, we have a plan regardless, you know, since uh, we're close to getting Nico back. Aww. Oh, man, that chocolate's actually burning my throat. Try harder! Yeah, I don't have any water with me. Alright. Get her at Jeez, don't look so evil down there, uh, Flaria. I didn't mean to treat her bad. Okay. Back to the... Uh, back to the freezer with you. So, we are basically... Um, so, if Nico wins this one, because we're going to pull Nico out, if he wins this next Great Five, we'll freeze him again and then see him again in June. If he loses, we're going to keep him out, and we are going to work on his power until he's gone. 
That's sort of the way we started operating with Nico, at, or rather uh, Sora, at the end of his life as well. Um, so it kind of comes down to this for Nico. Because if Nico can't... if Because the way I'm looking at it, if Nico can't win here, then he's got no chance of winning at all, period. He, he doesn't have the power to get through... Um, he doesn't have the power to get through the monster that he's struggling on in Kalaragi, and I don't think he has the uh, the defense to deal with the monster he's dealing with in Goat. So I feel like if he can't win here, I'm going to just have to accept the fact that he's not strong enough to do it, and we're going to have to train him up a little bit more. But, um, you know, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Uh, Got to take it one week at a time. So Nico's going to rest this week and then battle next week and then we'll see what happens. That's all we can do. Okay. Kalaragi Carnival. And again, um, this is the last episode of the session. Uh, I said that last time, but I did another session of Monster Rancher anyway. Um, so what we're going to do, what I'm probably going to do between episodes is I'm going to, uh, look up, um, I'm going to look up where you get your bits and orbs, um, cause that's bothering, oh god, I fucking hate duckins. Wow, those are respectable numbers. He doesn't even have his stupid bowing attack that most duckins have. I've got to hope that he does something really, st oh, that's going to help us. That's a lot of guts he just had to expend. And that too. Wow, he's in bad shape now. Oh, come on, man. Don't be missing now. Nico, I need you, buddy. There you go. That's how to, that's, that's how, hey, just do a vibrato. Fuck. Oh. Well, that was probably really stupid of me to do anyway. Yeah, get some distance. Or... Let it, oh god, that sounds terrifying. I mean, he hurt himself almost as bad. He's only got one more of those in him. Like, that was stupid of him. All right, cool. That is win number 81 and knockout number 31. Ugh. Amazing. That only did six damage to him. I wonder if it was percentage-based. Because if it was percentage-based, that would be a lot more of a desperation attack, which is proper the way he used it. If it's not percentage-based, if he was only going to be hit with six hit points of damage no matter what, then I don't know why he wasn't doing that move from the beginning, other than the guts cost. All right. I cannot take any of these battles... Like, I have to take every battle seriously. Because these guys are so strong at this level. The S-Class is no joke. Come on, baby. Alright, go. See, if I'm landing the attacks, it's not so bad. But it's landing the attacks that's the tricky part. Alright, we're doing alright. I don't know if he's... Yeah, this is the one that gets me. I don't know how strong that is. Oof, that hurt bad. That hurt bad. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna have to stay in his face. Dragon Bite is not useful, is not, does not feel good either. Or whatever it's called. I think it's called Dragon Bite. Keep your distance. No, 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 no. Okay. Oof. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't know if it's the RNG or my luck or what it is, but when the enemy does big moves, they always seem to hit me. I, we always have trouble facing big moves, so it makes me very paranoid. That is win number 82. Okay, Nico, it all comes down to this, buddy. Freaking Stone Beaklin, man. It's probably a unique. I wonder if I can even... Wait, what? What's the name of it? Oh, okay, it is the same one. Exiton. 
Oh my god, it's so strong. That is not off to a good start. Nico just doesn't have the power. He just straight does not have the power to do this. He missed on a four pip. <coughs> hmm. Like, that's great and all, but I don't think we have the power to finish him off. Like, he's just so strong. Whoa. Wait for a four pip. Ah! Dodge it! Thank you! Attack! Like, we always have a chance. We're always hanging in there. We haven't been obliterated in any of these fights. It's either come down to me making a couple tactical mistakes or just whiffing on attacks right when I need to hit. Like, here, I have to attack. And now I'm in desperation mode. So I've got to go for the... Oh, he went down. Fuck, man. Loss number 14, knockout number 8. I, I don't know. I just I don't think I can do anything other than gain his moves up, at, or his numbers up, and uh, work on his... Like, that's it. It's, it's working on his moves and working on his numbers. Like, that's all I can do. If I had back fist, which I think I want, I think I had that at one point and I got rid of it. But if I had back fist also, I think I'd be in better shape since it's more accurate. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't know what specific to do other than to uh, just keep trying. Keep doing what I'm doing. Because, again, I'm not going to look it up. I don't want to look up how to min-max the game or anything like that. So, we're just going to leave Nico as the active one for a while. And we're just going to keep working on his power. I want to keep his numbers actually about the same. So, I want to pull his defense up to 700 and then go from there. Oops. So, what am I losing? Speed? Whatever. Um, and again, even if, even if Nico, oh, that's bad. He's getting an eight defense on a double sized arrow. That's not good. That's, that's a really bad sign. That's a really bad sign that he's not much longer for this world. Um, but again, I mean, what else can I do? Uh, let's let's work on power. Maybe the boost will be better there. More than eight. Not by much. Hmm. Uh, that was a very long black screen. Oh, okay. That kind of scared me. Um, there's nothing really we can do here, so we'll just take a whiff and then run to a random bad spot and... See if we get anything. We'll head to that one to the left of the big clamshell. But Nico's getting up there in age. I mean, we already knew he was up there. I think he's at three years, six months or something. <sighs> oh, hey, different bit. It's an aqua bit. Okay, cool. So Aurora's probably from Brilia. I assume it's, I assume four of the arrow areas give you specific bits, and then the fi a fifth area gives you a random bit. I assume that's what how it works, because it just it, it's so it would work so well if that was the way the system worked. Um. Anyway, not much more to do now other than to keep working on them. Nico is full of energy. All right, let's work on life, see what the number looks like there. He graded it. That's good. He gets a 10. Uh, so it doesn't seem to matter what I'm doing. I'm getting very little numbers. Oh, hey, you. Um, Yeah, let's talk. Do you want to give your monster a rest? I heard that they die early if they're too tired to... Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for that. Do you have anything cool? You have a Naga piece. God damn right you do. All right. Um, got nothing else. So I will trade you my Hengar piece, and I will take your... Uh, I need another C piece. Oh, a golem, of course. Oh, yeah. That's a good trade. Absolutely. All right, thank you. Well, that'll do it for this episode and this recording session. Again, I uh, we may just go back to Monster Rancher. I'm feeling Monster Rancher. Um, but it's not going to be very much longer before Nico passes away and Alley Cat will inherit the, inherit the mantle and hopefully we'll get us a little farther. Sorry I failed you, Nico. You had a real shot of doing well. You certainly had a real shot of getting a fourth grade five and I fucked it up. I just don't know how I'm going to handle the fifth one, though. That friggin' Beaklin in the Calaragi jungle, man. If you guys have any specific ideas for ki for taking on that Beaklin in the Calaragi jungle, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Um, other than that, I don't know. Just got to keep whittling away at the numbers, I guess. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.